Hey guys, on today's video we're going to be updating Final Cut Pro, so let's get started. On the top left hand side of your screen you're going to see your Apple logo, so we'll go on the top left, Apple logo, then in your App Store, that's your third option, App Store, we're going to go right into there and we're going to see Final Cut Pro and any other updates that you have. So we also have Compressor right here and we've got OneDrive. Yes, we can see all the information about each update by just clicking on more. So we're going to click on more, we're going to see that this one's 3 gigs. So it is quite big. So make sure that you guys already backed up all your information or you're finished done with your projects before you do any updates. Anyways, if you do not see any updates here, just go on the top left hand side corner and type in, for example, like I said, Final Cut Pro, I'm gonna search for it. Once we see our search, we're gonna see that it says update on the top right hand corner. So we can just tap on update and it's gonna run that update. First, it's going to download it, it's going to install it, and then we're done. Now, this does depend on your internet speed, how long this takes. So for most of you, this should take only a couple minutes. With slower internet speeds, yes, this could take a couple of hours. It does really depend. Now, we have other things here to update, such as compressor. So we're going to do that. If we click on more, we're going to see the compressor. It's quite small. It's only about 300 megabytes. Very, very small. We're just going to tap on update. If you want to update everything together at the same time, on the top right hand corner, we're going to see update all. So there we go, update all. So those are all the ways that we can update everything. Now here is OneDrive. This is just a small update as well. Click on more. We're going to see exactly how small it is. And yes, it's only 78 megabytes. So that's our smallest one. Again, this does depend on your internet speed. If you want this to go a lot faster, you can always hook up your computer directly to your router use an ethernet cable that will run faster usually than Wi-Fi. And that's because I'm not 100% sure how far you are from your router. So your Wi-Fi might not be at the best speed from where you are. Anyways, once this is done, it's just going to get out of this. It's going to drop down and it's going to say recently updated. From there, we can just open up the program and we are done with any of these updates. So as mentioned before, once the update is completed, they will drop down into updated recently, just like you saw right now. And then we can just open it up. So for example, if we open up compressor, just open that up and take a look at anything that's brand new to it. So we're going to open this up. It's going to tell us what's new with it. We're just going to continue on and that's it with compressor. Let's just close that up. Same deal goes with OneDrive. I can just click on open. And once Final Cut Pro is done, I can also open it up and see what's new about it. So right now Final Cut Pro is officially done. So we can just click on open. I'm gonna open up Final Cut Pro and see whatever is new with it. Just like we did with the other apps. If it takes a little bit longer for you to open up, that's okay. It's best if you close down everything else and we're good to go. So right now it tells us what's new. We can continue and keep going with Final Cut Pro. Anyways, that would be it for this video. If you guys have any comments, questions, you guys can write down here in the comments area. Don't forget to subscribe and rate. Thank you.